I want to welcome everyone to the 13th year of celebrating May as Jewish American Heritage Month. And this is the seventh year uh, that this lunch has been hosted on American Jewish heritage here in, on Capitol Hill. Thank you for working to both preserve your heritage and history and help those of us here in Congress learn about it and keep it strong. Thank you very much. Taking from the teachings of the Proverbs, and I quote, educate a child according to his path, unquote. And that is what Martin Handler's done. His work is focused on meeting children where they are and providing each child based on his or her specific needs with the right tools uh, for his or her individual development. Uh, Martin has worked, as I said, in the area of early education and his work in Head Start has made a very big difference. True heroes, they're the true people who are in the trenches and deal with early childhood education every day. They are the real advocates for the parents, for the children, for the staff, and getting it from the corporate office. So altogether, they are the ones who are actually there and advocating for our children every single day. I would also like to thank my beautiful wife, um, Esty, who is there always for me. And she helps me out with every, I can throw everything on her and she is there and she just goes the way and goes there and helps me out. So thank you very much and thank you for joining me here today. The honor is definitely yours more than mine. Um, we have here also, uh, came along my daughter Perry, who is here now, she's actually a teacher. And um, I just told to, uh, to Anne before, um, today is actually Teacher Appreciation Week. It is my great honor to introduce uh, Richard Blumenthal, Senator from Connecticut. I am really proud and honored to present to Paul Packer uh, this award uh, honoring his extraordinary service to this organization, to this cause, but also to uh, the United States, truly a national legacy that he is leaving. And uh, this honor is very, very well deserved. Thank you. Our work is not partisan. It's not Republican. It's not Democrat. It's universal. No matter the politics or religiosity of anyone in this room, I hope we can all agree that if we don't care about our heritage, nobody else will. If we don't stand up in defense of our heritage, really, why should anyone else? We must recognize with the passage of time and the limitations of human memory, without active preservation efforts, we are liable to lose not only the evidence of our history, but the knowledge and understanding of it as well. Once that's gone, it may never be recovered. But despite the headwinds, I'm an optimist. Standing here today, seeing the strong support for American Jewelry in this room, I'm filled with hope for the future. At the heart of the commission, and my work as its chairman lies a commitment to this nation and its history and the heritage of all Americans. Today, even during a challenging and polarizing time in our country, I feel, I feel a renewed faith that we can unite in recognition of our shared heritage and the importance of preserving it for generations to come. Thank you, God bless you, God bless America. Thank you again. We are encouraged to take pride of our distinct identity. It goes hand in hand with our Americanism. To those that know me well, they would refer to my identity as a Sion of the Liska Hasidic dynasty. Indeed, I take great pride in my Liska ancestry, and I am dedicated and committed to the furtherance of the Liska Hasidic dynasty, which is currently carried forth by my father, the current Liska Rebbe. Liska is a, revered, is a revered name in Hasidic culture from time immemorial and is universally regarded as one of the most prominent Hungarian Hasidic courts that provided spiritual nourishment for multitudes of Hungarian Jews from all backgrounds. Today, thanks to the Olas Liska, the Liska Rebbe's family, the amazing family of the Liska's Rebbe and his community, we have a chance to create a simpler project 
that shows the amazing possibilities an abandoned Jewish cemetery can offer. By creating a decent site for visiting and learning, we can educate Hungarians of all faiths to their own heritage by showing them the amazingly rich spiritual life of the pre-war Hungarian Jewry and to make it possible for American pilgrims and visitors to understand such a distant reality of history and the present. We celebrate folks like Joe and Anne, who've embraced their unique influence to shape the relationships in our country, between our nations, and to leave this world a little bit better than they found it. I am honored to be able to present them with the award and recognition today. Please join me. <laughs> Presented to Anne and Joseph B. Stam, honoring your contribution to the American Jewish Experience, Jewish American Heritage Month, United States Congress, Washington, D.C., May 8, 2018. Another round of applause. And for somebody who's... For somebody who is 37 years old and been married five years, the idea of being married 50 is kind of amazing. Congratulations to you both as well. I've been blessed to have Anne as my wife, my best friend, and trusted confidant for the past half a century. Together, we have participated and advocated for many chesed projects, helping out the community at large and the state of Israel. Uh, Greg, thank you, thank you. And uh, Ezra, wherever you are now, organizing continuously, making everything move, and all the work that it took to get here today, uh, well done once again. And a congratulation to our honorees, to Martin Handler, to Ann and Joseph Stamm, to the Honorable Paul Packer. Uh, each year, when I read the work that, of the individuals who are being honored, I think, how are they going to find people of equal caliber next year? But so many are doing so much, and congratulations to each of you for your decades of dedication and uh, good works. Congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Stam. Congratulations to you, to Mr. Handler, and to Mr. Pack. Thank you so much for the work that you have done. The National Museum of American Jewish History, and we look forward to many more years of celebrations like this one, and we owe a great debt of gratitude to Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Thank you. It is my honor to be able to join you and to help propel our heritage forward the door of a door. Thank you so much. Our heritage defines who we are, but being here in America, we have the freedom to express our heritage and lead and make a difference in our world. This is our task of rabbis, teachers, and politicians to make sure that the past is not forgotten, to guard over letters, memories, graveyards, names, buildings, pictures, and our dreams, too. Please, everyone from the Diplomatic Corps, Survey of Washington, please stand. Acknowledge your honorees, especially Paul, who I was just having a chance to visit with. The, the, the task of preserving this amazing cultural heritage we have abroad. I've been to U.S. military cemeteries in Tunisia, one of the most beautiful places abroad there is. I would like to uh, introduce Representative John Faso, who represents the uh, 19th District of New York. I just want to say congratulations to all of your honorees here today, especially Paul Packer. And uh, he has uh, been not appointed by the President to be the uh, chair of the United States Commission on the Preservation of America's Heritage Abroad. And I know that President Trump uh, feels very strongly and deeply about this, and I'm so pleased uh, that you have taken on this responsibility. And it's worth celebrating and worth remembering today and every day. Thank you so much for everything this organization does, and thank you for the honor of congratulating you. Thank you. I have to give a special call out to Martin, because as I said to him, when I was governor, as Greg said, we finally got public kindergarten in New Hampshire. And 
During my tenure as governor and then at the Education Commission of the States, I got a chance to learn what Martin has known for a very long time, and that is that if we invest in the early years of a child's life with quality early childhood education, then it's going to save us a whole lot more money, and it's going to produce children who grow up to become responsible adults. So thank you so much for your contributions. If we know from where we come and where we are, then we have a better idea of where we're headed. And I think that's the goal of all of us as we try to serve the American people by preserving the heritage of American culture. Thank you very much. Thank you for being with us to celebrate Jewish American Heritage Month in 2018, and we look forward to seeing you again in 2019.